in order for it to be possible for you a human being to have an emotion god must have provided for that possibility in the formation of syntax that's why in the ctmu there is a syntax called the ets or the the emotelic subsyntax in fact emotion is very very basic a lot of people wonder for example does my dog or cat have emotion you'd better believe the dog or cat has emotion that's mainly how its mind functions it functions emotionally anybody who has watched an animal closely knows that this is the case it is the case with any teller the emotional component is extremely important it is very primitive it actually precedes a lot of the other components of the cognitive perceptual syntax really is meaningless to ask whether god has it by himself without human beings because human beings are images of god if human beings have it god has it period if you subtract the human beings then god basically changes his structure and and becomes not the same as he was with the human beings present so definitely there is a there's an all embracing syntax which does carry the possibility of emotion and god can tap that syntax this is why god is supposedly judgmental why he becomes angry why he is capable of love it's how you can have a personal god who actually relates to you on an emotional level if this were not the case then that wouldn't be true of god and this is even possible if for plants as well you're saying so you know you know there are, there are a lot of crazy old ladies out there crazy old ladies out there who water their tomatoes and and talk to them and believe that the plants actually respond to their soothing voices it, it, it is on some level true and what it takes to trigger a plant's emotions and what the emotions actually feel like to the plant that is a different matter entirely but there is no question that any tellor will respond to love that is given it by another tellor